Hello everybody. Some big news coming out of Montgomery, Alabama uh, from WSFA 12 News has confirmed that uh, a former pastor, he's now a former pastor, of the Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church uh, has full-blown AIDS. His name is Juan Demetrius McFarland. Not only did he admit to his congregation a couple of Sundays ago that he has full-blown AIDS, he also admitted uh, to having adulterous affairs with several women in the congregation. He also admitted to misappropriating church funds, uh, a.k.a. stealing money from the church. He also admitted to doing drugs. And now he wants forgiveness. He's hiding behind the church. He's hiding behind religion. If this man was such a religious man, he wouldn't have been in there preaching from the Bible with one hand and screwing everybody's wives when he lays the book down. A lot of people in the comment section here feel sorry for the women. I feel bad for them. I don't feel sorry for them. They, um, they were sleeping with the pastor of their church while they had a husband. That's adultery. You know, I know things happen sometimes, but a pastor of a church... When you, what is your reason for going to church if you're going to turn around and do everything that it says not to do? What's your reason for even being there? I'm going to tell you what a reason for a lot of people being there is. Just so they can say, I went to church. I'm a churchgoer. I'm a Christian. Words are empty. Words don't mean anything. Actions mean everything. Uh, the church has not yet decided whether they're going to press charges uh, in that state and in a lot of other states. It's a misdemeanor if you have sex with someone while you have AIDS and don't tell them because sex can potentially be a death sentence. Now, not only did these wives commit adultery with this man, but they've taken this disease home to their husbands. And God forbid their husbands be having affairs. So, uh, <clears throat> the preacher is a black man. Not that that matters to me. But I'm going to tell you why I say that. In the comments section down here, reading a lot of the comments about this, <clears throat> a lot of people have said, I bet if this was about a white preacher, you wouldn't see it on the news. I bet if this was a white preacher, everybody would feel sorry for him. I bet if it was a white preacher, he'd be getting sympathy. And all these people, oh, and then they say, you all are racist. Because they're reporting the news on a black preacher in a black church. How does that make anybody racist? It's news. It's news. Some black people, not all black people, I don't consider everybody in a group, but some black people out there are the first ones to holler the race card anytime anything ugly happens with their race. White pre Look at the, all the Catholic priests who have uh, had sex with boys. That's been in the news. And nobody gets on there and says, I bet a black person put that in the news because they're racist against the white people. Just because this was a black preacher, they want to sweep it under the rug. Some of them do. want to sweep it under the rug and don't want nobody to know. Just like the preacher tried to sweep everything. He was, let me be, have a more tactful way of saying this. He was having sex with these married women at nighttime and preaching from the Bible in the day. He admitted to misappropriating church funds, which is stealing money. He admitted to doing drugs. He had, 
And he probably wouldn't have admitted to none of this had he not been diagnosed with AIDS. And probably what's going through his mind now is, oh my God, I'm going to die. Dear God, I need you to forgive me. I need the women to forgive me. I need the world to forgive me. Amen. I want to go to heaven. That's what he's thinking. That's why, and all these women that were uh, having an affair with him, just so they can say that they were church-going people. It's ugly. It's crude. It's embarrassing to the church. And then a lot of people wonder why they think that, that you're not Christian. They think you're not religious. They think you're going to hell if you don't go to church. I don't believe you have to be in a church. I believe you can worship in your home the same as you. You know, anybody that wants to go to church, that's fine. That's lovely. I used to go myself. But I think you have to find one that you really like and one that you really trust. Um, these women at this church can't say, I trusted him. How can you trust a pastor that you're sleeping with and he knows you're a married woman? How can you trust him? That's a hypocrite. That's a hypocrite. So, he's broken just half the commandments. So what do you think? Do you think that uh, it should have been told in the news? Do you think it should have been kept quiet? Do you feel sorry for the women? Do you feel sorry for the families? i tell you who I do feel sorry for. I feel sorry for the husbands of those women and the children of those women. And now you got these women on here saying they don't want to come forward. I bet you don't. So what do you think? And until next time, bye-bye.